Wouldn't it be awesome if you could use Robopack with Configuration Manager? You see, I used to be a SCCM admin back in the day, and aside from it being a little bit more straightforward because you don't need to wrap the app content into an Intune Win file, it's still a lot of work to package and patch apps, especially when they get updated so often. That's where Robopack shines in the Intune world, but with Config Manager, there really are limited options. Until I've just found out that there's a product that lets you use Robopack in SCCM, and it's pretty good. Let's take a look. I have the, uh, S the Configuration Manager console open right now, and I've got a few apps. Now, a couple of them I've created myself, and the others have been created by this uh, application that uses Robohack. So we're going to go into it. Now, normally to create an application, you would right-click Create App, and then you would manually specify, choose Next, and type in all the information and then specify whether it goes into Software Center, then you create a deployment type, and a deployment type you know, is where you specify how it gets installed, like the install command, the uninstall command, the detection method, all that kind of stuff. It, it's not difficult, it's just a lot of work, especially when you have to do it every time. So if we head back instead and go to the tool that I've found, Software Central Application Manager, this really is pretty useful, I think. Because what you've got here is all the apps that I've got in Intune and in Config Manager, they've been detected. Because uh, I connected my Intune tenant to it earlier on. But if I choose Patch Flows, I can create a patch flow. Now this, well, it says it's found 28,000 applications that it can use. Um, let's have a look at, let's pick one. Um, Inkscape. Now, if I choose Inkscape, you can see we get to specify a app template, an application template. Now, an application template really just defines which distribution points and which groups are going to be deployed to. So, uh, groups, that's uh, collections, are going to be deployed to in Config Manager. So, that's all I need to choose in that app template. I've only got one distribution point, and it's very simple. So, I'm going to go with my standard app template that I've created here. Now, when I've chosen that, you can see download and import software is lit up, so I can now just choose download and import software, and this is the summary screen that you get in Config Manager normally, and it tells you what it's gonna, what's going to happen. So it's not going to create a patch flow. We'll look at what a patch flow is later on. It's going to import with my template and not do a phase deployment because I haven't looked at any of that yet. Uh, it will not be replaced. It will not do any replacement. And it's not going to do anything with Intune. I'm just doing this into Config Manager. So I'll choose Download and Import. And what's it doing? OK, here's the logs, the notification stuff. So it's now doing that. Um, starting to download Inkscape. Download completed importing the application. Let's head back into Config Manager and see what it's done. So I've got my apps here. I'm just going to refresh this. And there is Inkscape. Now I've got no deployment right now, but I know I should have some. I'm going to head into my collections here and just refresh this. Okay, so I've got my Inkscape collection group here. And in there, I've got my install collection and my uninstall collection. Um, if I head back to the software library and see if it actually pushed the content to that now, just refresh that, and there we go. Inkscape is now deployed. Let's see where it's deployed to. Okay, so it's distributed the content, which is good, and it's deployed to the install collection and for the for the device and for the user, and the same with the uninstaller. Let's take a look at the deployment type. Right-click on that and choose properties. Um, it's created a content folder for it. It's using PSEDT and it's using the MSI detection method. And the rest of the stuff is the stuff I've put in the template for how I want this to actually be deployed. Okay. So, okay, well, that's one version of Inkscape now deployed to my environment. But Robopack has this. Um, the Waves approach, doesn't it, where you can actually get it to automatically release the new version to the test collection, then the 
app test collection and then to everyone perhaps and that's really unique to rubber pack that is 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 very very useful i can't imagine it do, it's doing anything like that but there was a patch flows thing here so let's just do another one i'll do create patch flow i'll choose a different app this time let's go for logi options that's a good one now i'm going to do my app template again and I'm going to go with next and then phase deployment. Let's do, let's create one. I'm going to go with um, sending the information to me. Notify when all phases are complete, when it's met its criteria, and if it's not met the criteria after seven days, that sounds pretty useful. So we'll go to phases, and now I can choose a collection for the first phase. I will choose my IT pilot devices. There we are. And I want 100% of those to be successful. And, ooh, approval. So I can actually make it only move forward if it has approval or have a specific start time. Okay. So add phase. Now that's my number one, phase one. Let's see what I've got next. I've got my app pilot users. There we are. And I'll do 100% of those. And we'll do add phase. All right, and let's leave it there, just phase one and phase two. If I mean, I could add another phase where everyone gets this application, but actually I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then I'll do the next bit myself. I, I want to make sure that when I push this application out to my uh, collection of people who need it, I'm going to do that completely manually. But I'm sure we could add another phase here which would deploy it to all devices that need it. So I'll just choose save as template. I'm going to call this um, IT pilot, then app pilot only. Okay. All right, so I'm going to also create another one for um, IT pilot, app pilot, and then everyone, and then we'll um, we'll come back. Okay, so I've created that one. We're back at the SCCM phase deployment screen. We'll, we've got my two here. I've got the IT pilot, then app pilot only, and my IT pilot, app pilot, all devices group. I'm going to go with the IT pilot and app pilot only group for now. And here we are. So it's going to my IT pilot devices and my uh, app pilot devices. Now these devi these groups are, collections are completely empty right now, which is why it says no zero devices. But theoretically, when you have a real environment, and soon when I've finished setting up this lab, then I will have some devices in that list. Ah, look, remove the devices from the previous version of the install collection. That means that it'll stop deploying the old version, which is a good idea. Um, okay, so I'll choose next and Intune application temp. Play. All right, so it's possible to use this to push the application to Intune as well. So I can deploy it to Config Manager and get it all testing, and also deploy it to Intune at the same time and get it testing in my Intune environment. I'm not going to do that right now. I didn't realize that was possible. So I'm going to leave that for now and come back to it and figure out how that works and then maybe do a video on it when I've figured out how it works because that would be useful. I guess that just is use rubber pack, the, you know, the default. Anyway, um, I'll go next and I'll give it a name. So this will be my um, Logi Options Patch Flow. And I can create a template. I'll do standard patch flow for the template. Okay. Don't go into SCCM. So there we go. I'll choose create patch flow. So what's it doing? It is it's saving the logic options patch flow and presumably it now needs to download the application from Robopack and and do all of that stuff. So we'll give it a few seconds while it does that. I'll head over to the Intune console and see what it's done here in a few seconds. All right, so it's been a few seconds. So I'm just going to choose refresh here. So we have our Logi Options application with all of the fancy comments in the description. 
Um, it is deployed, it's distributed. Okay, now I've not looked at any of the other stuff that this product does, but for now, I think the application manager feature is pretty incredible. Let me know what you think, or if you've got other ways to manage all of your apps in Config Manager. Um, if you want to try Software Central Application Manager, it's free to try for 30 days. There's no credit card needed and anything like that. Just go to softwarecentral.com and find the free trial button and you get to here. And yeah, let me know what you think. See you next time.